In this food adventure, I'm attempting to finish my second food challenge of the day by trying to complete this Ned Kelly Burger Challenge here at Guilty Rogue in central Brisbane of Queensland of Australia. And it comes with a giant beef patty, bacon, cheese, and a variety of vegetables. And if I can manage to chew through it all in 30 minutes or less, all while nursing that food baby from the previous challenge earlier in the day, I'll get the $40 meal for free, a free shirt, and my picture up on their wall of fame. And let this adventure begin as I undress this burger by flipping over that top bun, snatch up a handful of bacon, then go to town and send it down. Which, boy, this bacon was banging! It has both that softer, fattier quality to it, all while having that more crispy, salty aspect to it around the edges. Getting the best of both worlds if you're asking me. Also, not only is this the second food challenge of the day, it's my final challenge in Australia. Are you serious? That's right, my last challenge in Australia, and I'm looking to finish out in style. Clearly I wasn't shying away from this big burger patty, taking both hands, grabbing that hot piece of meat, and shoving it all right into my mouth. Overall, this is a great burger patty. The charbroiled flavors from the beef patty were fantastic, especially with that melted cheese and even when you would get a splash of ketchup with every bite. I absolutely loved it. It was, however, not as moist as some of the thinner, smaller patties I've had in the past, which does make it a bit harder to chew through but nothing a little water can't fix, or even a juicy slice of tomato that can also act as a nice palate cleanser in between each bite. Feeding off the crowd's energy, as I'm looking to devour the rest of this burger. In most cases, I typically would take down each bun separately, but the thing is, as I mentioned earlier, this is my second food challenge of the day, and even with popping a few extra digestive enzymes in between challenges, I'm still feeling, well, well we'll just say I'm not quite as empty and ready as I'd like to be. Therefore, I'm going in with a more aggressive pace, before that food baby has a chance to get unruly and start fighting back. With well, that being said, I very much enjoyed this beefless burger. Between the softer, fluffy buns and the remaining, essentially salad in between, there's not a thing I can think of that I didn't like about this challenge. There wasn't even a grease soaked bottom bun to deal with either. Baby, baby, baby. If you know me, then you know how much I was looking forward to these sweet potato fries. Or wedges? I don't know. But what I do know is they were looking real thick. But it doesn't matter to me because they are amazing. amazing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Unless you just absolutely burn these suckers to a crisp. There's no way I'm not just going to absolutely love them. And here it was no different, as these sweet potato fries had that thin, slightly crispy, slightly salted outside. But when you bite in, you get a burst of that warm, soft, and naturally sweet flavor. Mmm, -hmm. man, I'm just starting to wet my appetite just thinking about it again. It's that time. That's right. Time to bring in my all-time food challenge MVP, the Diet Coke. Always providing a cool, crisp, and refreshing flavor on the taste buds after each bite. Not 
so sure what these kids are doing at a place like this. Maybe they're taking notes so they can do this challenge when they're of age. Either way, they have a front row seat to the show, so I should probably be a good role model by cleaning my entire plate, right? Ooh, dealing with a very uncomfortable air pocket here. Get him out of here! Yes, that's right. Get him out indeed. Get him out, so I can make even more room for more delicious sweet potato. Completing two food challenges in a single day is no easy feat, and I'll certainly be feeling the effects of it soon. While this is the final food challenge in Australia, this trip as a whole, it's not over, as I now make my way to New Zealand for even more food adventures. And to watch the next video, tap the video on the screen or the link down below, and I'll see you there.